King and I'm back on your screen. I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. Today is Vlogmas 18. Yeah, 18, my bad. Um, I'm about to hop in the shower real quick, get ready, and I'm going to show y'all some of my favorite Jordans that I like to wear, because I do collect Jordans, so I'm not going to show y'all all of them, I'm just going to show y'all some of them. I'm going to show y'all most of the ones that I wear a lot. Um, because I do all of them. It's going to probably take like forever. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all uh, some of my favorite Jordans that I like to wear. Um, so I told y'all that yesterday. And I ain't trying to leave y'all hanging, man. So, I'm going to show y'all some of my favorite Jordans right now. As soon as I hop in the shower. I'm going to hop in the shower real quick. And... As soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to come and do the video. And you're going to see a little different side that I just made. I just created on my wall. But y'all see it in a minute. So let me go jump in the shower real quick and I'll be right back with y'all. Chill. Yo, what it do? I'm back, guys. Like I said, I'm going to show y'all some of my J's. These right here are actually... Th these are the Seahawk ones. Uh, They're... Those are the s fucking the six. These are the ones. These two right here were my baby brothers. And these right here are my daughters. That's her little collection of J's right there. But most of these, I have some of these in here. So here we go, y'all. First of all, my favorite ones are the 13s. These right here. These are my babies right here, man. Ooh. Hey. I love collecting the 13s. It's something about the 13s that I love. And I also got the 13s in black. Y'all see me more rocking, like, my black and my, my red 13s. Fucking love my 13s. And then these, of course, are my favorite right here. My second favorite. The, the, uh, the 12s. I love collecting the 12s as well. And these, I just got them about, I think, like, what, two weeks ago? Um, and to tell you the truth, Jordans, they fucking cost a shitload of money. I walked out the door with these paying 151 Basically, all these other ones, it was either, like, the same thing, 150 151 It's rare when you find Jordans on sale, but these, they all basically cost 150 and then I also got the low tops toes. Okay, these right here and these have a big ass meaning to me. Because me and my me and my girl got these like, you know, we got the same fucking shoe, like twins, you know what I'm saying? These are the toes as well. They're, these are just low tops. And fun fact, I even got these in blue and white. But the blue and white ones are pretty much beat up because I've been having those since I was like 15 years old. One of my godmothers got them for, got it for my birthday and I got those on Easter. They're my blue and white ones. But they're all fucked up now. They're like all fucking yellow. You see, the thing is, if you don't clean your shoes, that's why I like clean my shoes a lot. Even if I don't wear them, I take them out the box and clean them. Because nothing, they start turning yellow. You can't really tell. But they start kind of like turning yellow. But I've been, I've been cleaning these because I ain't trying to let these fuck up. Like I said, these have a big ass meaning to me. And then my favorite, favorite ones too are the fucking retro fours. The fours, man. The fours. I got these right here. Fun fact, I used to have these. No. No, I, no that's not fun fact. That's I'm tripping right now. Hold on. These are the fours though. This Y'all yeah, might see me rock these holes a lot. I actually bought these for my birthday last year. This is what I gave myself for my birthday last year. This is the fun fact right here. The Retro Fives. These were one of my favorites growing up. And I actually had these in blue, blue, white, and gray. But these are like my favorite ones too. The Retro Fives. Then, right here, I also got the Retro, the Retro Six. These, when I seen this, it was like love at first sight, man. They're metallics. They're the metallic colors. My girl, she really didn't like them. But she knew that I wanted them, so that fun fact, like, she bought these holes for me. 
watch basically Bobby Otto and just don't tell nobody, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so shout out to my girl. She was the, she's the real one. She's the MVP. She basically bought me most of some of my Jordans, you know? She got her Jordans, but like, I usually, when I bought her shoes, I usually buy her Nike because she's like a fucking big ass Air Max. She's an Air Max fan. She loves Air Max. So, um, she really didn't like these, but she knew I liked them. So she's like, you know what? You're getting them. I'm like, what? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> Fun fact about that one, I also got it in this color. She gave me these for my birthday last year, I believe. I think it was last year, yeah. Yeah, last year. She gave me these. When I seen these, I was just like, man. But the only thing I don't like really wearing these, because like, it's sway right here. And since it's gray, they get tend to fucked up. So I try to take care of these the best way I can. But these are also uh, Retro 6. Then I got these, the Retro 8s. They're the bunnies. Fun fact, me and my stepson, we had these together, but... I think he done uh, tore his up. <laughs> and it's it's kind of crazy, though, because, like, really, this is the first Jordan in history that I ever fucking scuffed. I actually scuffed it right there, scratched it. I was pretty much fucking upset. But these are my Bugs Bunnies, though, right here. Then I, I got the I got the eights in this color. When I seen these, I had seen these. Like, during the time for my birthday, and I had told my girl, man, I really want these, I really want these, but we couldn't find them. These, we found them, like, randomly, surprisingly, and these are actually a free, I'm a, I'm a six and a half, uh, in kids, <laughs> well, in boys or whatever, in youth, so, um, when I saw these, I was like, fuck, I'm like, and she was like, just try them on, because these were six, they didn't have them in, in a six and a half. So I was going either, because I couldn't fit into six and a half or seven. So I was like, man, let me fucking, you know, so I tried it on and I was like, fucking, I'm like, man, you know what? I'm going to get them because I fucking, I love the color. It's the army green with orange. So I was like, fuck, you know, so I got these even though they were six. Oh, shit, I forgot to take out one of my other favorites. Uh, let me think of that. These right here, they're the Marvin the Martians, you know what I'm saying? Fun fact, me and my little girl had them right here. She had them in these, the baby ones. She even had the fucking, uh, the 12s, and she had those like us. You see what I'm saying? The 13s. Me and her and mommy had the same, same ones. The only thing that, the only thing that we kind of didn't like, because, like, she didn't get to rock them, like, as much as we wanted her to rock them. Uh, and I also... I also got I also got a collection of ones. I collect ones a lot. I, I got these. Fun fact, me and my baby brother, we had these together. I still got mine too. Uh, me and my baby brother. I had got them for his birthday one year. So me and him, we got those together. And you see, I wanted these for myself, but they didn't have them in my size. And since, you know, I'm, I'm a Seahawks fan and I had to him a Seahawks party, I had got him those uh, too. To match his little fucking his uh his Seahawk jersey and all that shit. But yeah, you guys, those are um those are you know my 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 basic favorite Jordans that I like to rock that you actually catch me rocking a lot. And I actually had the ones the Bugs Bunny ones. I gave those to my nephew. I even had some fucking badass. They were red and black ones, but I gave those to my nephew as well. Uh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it's, it's rare for me to give away any fucking Jordans. It's really, really rare. But, like, those, I had bought those a couple of years back. And I was just like, man, you know, I started collecting all the ones that I actually like, like, like. So, I was like, man, you know, I'm going to give my, my nephew some. Because, fun fact, me and my nephew were actually the same size. Uh, So, um, I fucking, you know, did that. And right now, I'm actually not rocking Jordans. Right now, I'm actually rocking... Uh, my Air Max 27Cs, 27Cs, which are blue, white, and orange. Me and my girl got those together. I have bought those for us together uh, to match. And I'm actually trying to get us the black ones, the all black ones now. Um, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, and I, I, and I always have a lot of people 
message me like on either on like either Snapchat or either on like uh Instagram and like telling me that they're buying you know shoes for the kids or whatever and they just want to know if they're legit real or they're legit fake. So they ask me, how do you know if it's real or fake? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you one full fact about Jordan real, real talk. Okay, you see the Jordan man is like this, right? He's facing this way. You should be on a fake one. You'll find this nigga facing this way or not. You'll find him without a shoe. So if he don't have a shoe, then I'm sorry, but that means you're fucking, you know, you, you got fucking, you got robbed because <laughs> it's just like, nah, not cool. And a lot of people be going like to like the flea markets, the bazaar, or whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? And they be finding Jordans there. And I be laughing because like, I already know what's real and what's fake. You know what I'm saying? So when people ask me, hey, MTZ, or like, you know, they come by my name, hey, Jordan, you know, what's your favorite? I mean, uh, where, what's your favorite uh, store? My bad. It's kind of. Where's your favorite store to, you know, get your Jordans at? Where do you buy your Jordans at? Honestly, I get my shits at Foot Locker, Kids Foot Locker, or Champs. That's where I get my shoes at. Because I know I'm not going to get fucking played out right there. At, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but if y'all ever have any questions or whatever, and the secret about keeping your shoes to, like, these right here are sway. My 12s are sway and my 5s are sway. And then the ones me and my girl and the baby had, these right here are sway. So the best way to keep these, oh, and my black ones, 13s are, are sway too. The best way to keep these clean and like, yeah, you could buy the spray or whatever. But the magic about cleaning sway, boil some hot water, make sure it's steaming hot. Then you go and you clean it and it won't leave your shoe fucked up. It won't fuck up your shoe, I promise you. Because that's what I do. I boil hot water in a pan, and I fucking, uh, then I pour it in, like, a cup or whatever, and I put a little bit of soap. And, like, use laundry detergent soap, and not use some Dawn, like, the, the soap that you wash your dishes with. Because Dawn intends to take out a lot of the dirt. So, uh, put that in, just scrub it, or, like, they even ask me, like, how do you keep your shoes so clean and so new? Because half of these shoes, I'll be wearing them to work. So they're like, damn, Jay, you always got some fucking badass shoes, man. They're brand new. And I'm like, no, I just, you know, they're like, damn, you know how to keep your shoe clean. Obviously, I do. I grew up, you know, uh, I grew up not having all this. So I figured now that I have it, I might as well take care of it. And I just been that type of person because I've always been a fucking shoe collector. No matter what shoe. Back then, I used to collect Converse. I was a big ass Converse. You come in with all the colors of Converse, basically. Same thing, like, I, I used to rock case with a lot. I had a collection of my case with, which unfortunately I don't have, no longer have anymore, but I had a lot of case with, and I would always keep them clean, man, because I didn't like being dirty. The, the, the thing about me, when I go out in public, I like looking presentable. I don't like looking like, damn, like, you looking poor or some shit like that, you know? Because, you know, a lot of people are out there to just judge you and criticize you. Well, I really don't give a fuck if they, you know, what to say that. Because I know I'm not poor or whatever, but... And, you know, there is some people that are less unfortunately that, you know, they can't afford this or they can't even afford a toothbrush and stuff, like, to clean their shoes. But that's the best way to go, man. Like, you know, a toothbrush and some hot water and some soap and you be straight, you know? There's other tricks and other other things like how to keep your shoe white. Like you could do it with baking soda and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's my that's some of my collection of Jordans. That's not all of them because I I got more. I got more, man. I probably show y'all in another video, but I didn't want to like take up the whole video. Cause I'm still trying to vlog. Uh, when my little nephew gets here and stuff. I'm trying to give y'all a little bit more, but today basically it is about my Jordans. You know what I'm saying? And I used to actually have all my Jordans on this wall. Like, it was crazy because uh, before I got with my with my girl and stuff, this was my Jordan wall. So when she came in for the very first time, she was just like, wow, wow you know what I'm saying? So she was like, I'm going to add more collection to your Jordan. So she did. But I don't have it on no more because my mom says that my, my shoes, my boxes are too big and shit. And it takes up basically like the whole wall. <laughs> 
No, and more and more it has to do like you know when we're not home. Well, basically somebody is always home. That's the thing. Somebody is always home. But my mom's like, nah, you know, you just can't, you know, uh, trust people, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, yeah, I understand. So I just have my little collection right here of my daughter and my little my little brother. Shoot, my little brother, he got more collection. I got those under my bed. A lot of people been trying to buy them off me. But cause I think I posted them a while back on Snapchat. But I'm like, nah, I ain't selling these because these are going to be for my daughter when she actually fit in them. I'm going to let her rock them, and then I'll just clean them and, you know, have them back to my collection. But these are, like, every shoe that I basically bought my brother, Jordan, he basically rocked it on his birth, like, on his birthdays. Um, but, yeah, though, man, oh, oh shit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, though, uh, I hope y'all enjoy that. I hope y'all enjoy that. I hope y'all learned a little something. And, oh, there's also a pink soap. There's a pink bar of soap that they sell. It's always in the Mexican aisle. It's... Damn, I don't even, it starts with the letter Z, I think. I don't even know the, the name of it. I forgot, but that soap right there is fucking awesome, too, to clean your shoes or even to clean white clothes. But that one really works magic with shoes. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be Jordan's. They could be Nike's. They could be Fila. They could be Reeboks. It could be a shoe from fucking Walmart or Target. There ain't nothing wrong with that. And to all the kids out there, man, to all y'all kids, to all y'all teenagers out there, that are really hard-headed and stubborn and don't understand when your parents tell you they can't get you something. Learn to, have, learn to have the mind to understand because all this, all this right here is money, man. It, it's not no damn fucking, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's what, something I learned when I was young. It was either you want food in your mouth or you want a damn shoe to make your feet look good. So, hey, you know, better yet, I had to go with, you know, choosing food because I wasn't going to starve for a pair of shoes, you know, for one shoe. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't be too hard on your parents out there, man. Like, I know we all want to look fly, but yes, you know what I'm saying? I, for a time, I wore fucking shoes that looked like fucking Adidas, and they weren't Adidas. They were from Payless. Uh, I also wore, you know, I wore shoes from Walmart. There ain't no shame, you know what I'm saying? There ain't no shame. You know, you got to start somewhere to end up get it to where you want to be but y'all will know the value of a dollar when your ass gets a job because half of the time now i'll be like damn do i really want to spend 150 <laughs> you know what i'm saying because you work at think about it it's like you getting paid eight dollars i don't get paid i get more pay more than that but just imagine you get paid eight dollars an hour so are you really gonna spend that whole basically a hundred dollars that you made in a day or probably even less than a hundred dollars do you really want to spend that on a pair of shoes? Or would you rather go spend it on, you know, a pair of Nikes or something? You know what I'm saying? Because, honestly, with one pair of Jordans, I could have actually bought me two pairs of Nikes. That's just, the, that's just the truth about that. But, like I said, though, man, uh, you know what? This is probably going to be actually... One separate video, and I'm probably going to come at y'all with another. I'm probably going to start another vlog because this one's already 17 minutes long. So I'm probably going to start another vlog. So I'm probably going to get two vlogs from me today. Um, So, yeah. Oh, and shout out to my little nephew. Shout out to my, my high school, North Dallas High School. You know what I'm saying? I actually bought this for my nephew because he's going to be playing baseball. So I bought this. That's, that's why I'm rocking it today because he gave it to me yesterday. It came in yesterday or the other day, but he brought it to me yesterday. So shout out, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I never really say what high school I went to or anything because I'm not really like, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all be wanting to know what high school I went to, you know what I'm saying? But I went to North Dallas High School. For those of you that don't know, now you know. Class of 08, hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? But I was supposed to be class of 07, but class of 08, hey, hey, I got my ring too. It's put up though. Uh, but yeah, though, I hope y'all enjoy this little missionary of my shoes. And like I say, you know, don't be mad at your parents if they can't afford a damn pair of Jordans because Jordans are pretty fucking expensive. Like, even for my baby brother now, they're like 80 bucks, almost 100. And I'm just like, damn, well, taxes is 90 because Jordan be high priced and he's. 
charges eleven dollars of taxes. So you'll be like, fuck. So y'all don't be so hard on your parents, man. One day you will know the value of a dollar, and you know how. Much. And then I feel sorry if you were a big size. I feel sorry for you because most of these shoes in men men's big size, it's fucking like two three hundred dollars. You looking at? So good luck to you, man. But uh, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna end this. So much love. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Join your boy MTZ King. And I'm going to come back at y'all with another vlog. So today y'all getting two vlog misses from me, man. So feel special today. And much love, though. And I appreciate my girl for buying me the Jordans that she bought me. And don't forget, babe. I love you with all my heart. And you're a real one. You made most of my, dream, most of my, most of my dreams of Jordans come to reality. And I appreciate you. But I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, and I can't wait till we get another pair together or something, you know. But anyways, though, to everybody, much love, though. Thank y'all for all the support y'all been giving me. It means a lot to me. And I will catch y'all in the other vlog in a minute. I'm out, though. Chip.